it's pretty tight in the standings. Tonight, the Abu Dhabi Knight Riders are up against the Golf Giants. Golf Giants have had a few days break. You're better off using the square boundaries rather than the straight bound straight boundaries. Opening game, where's James Vince? The last time he played, here, made 52 from 43. Someone very experienced and swinging the ball as well is David Willey. It's David Willey this time. Russell stands at slip. We'll have uh, uh, a what? Brilliant from David Willey. He's been aiming for those stumps and this time around finds a way through. Early wicket it is for Abu Dhabi Knight Riders. A floated delivery. Not much of a pace on that, but he allowed the ball to swing. Bowling a lot fuller and bowling at the right length. Ball nipping back once again. Got a bit of pad on the way to the off stump. That is a magic start for the... Nice from Vince. This is what he does. He's such a technically correct batter that he can make things look quite easy out there when you've seen such a good first over. Same thing. A little bit wider this time from Russell, but same result. That's a Sky 247.net Super 4. Even slower the last delivery and more room for wins to deal with. He's given a lot away in this over, has Andre Russell. It's been too short, it's been too wide. Runs in for the Golf Giants, a 17 for one. Don't mind taking a new ball. Might be out, might be out, yes. Easy, comfortable catch. That's a gift. An absolute gift indeed. Maybe looking for something in this power play, looking for runs, and Laurie Evans takes a simple catch. That's really good. This is something that he will bring. He just brings a bit of creativeness and something that's a bit innovative. He's not scared to take some. Getting under the ball. There you go. It was difficult for Imad to seem to change any length. He was a little too late. Brilliant batting. Chris Lynn on strike. Imad Wasim smashed four. Well, we saw four from Cox's blade in the previous over, which was all timing covering the angles. Oh, that smoked like a Cuban. That's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Down the pitch. Using his feet well, Chris Lynn. Not allowing David Willey to bowl to him. The 50 is up for the Giants. Shot the longer. Oh, Lynn, it's into the wind. It's into the wind. Does it go all the way? It does. Just gets enough of it. Evening, Natalie. It's got the seam right, but I'm not sure about the length. Chris Lynn is in very, very good form. He's made that look very easy. We mentioned that it was into the wind. It's gone 78 meters. Another half century for Chris Lynn, having a good tournament. 53rd T20 half century to go along with 500s. And his fifth in his last eight innings. When you're in form, make it count. Imad. Oh. I am not sure. I think that's hit him bang on the knee. likes that the ball actually hit his hand first and then ricocheted onto his knee so I think that force was really taken away because we know how hard these guys hit still got a decent impact that's really painful he's up Last ball from with Imad he's gone for it has he got enough on it I'm not sure he has he hasn't Marshall to Langer out there in the open pastures on that leg side. And Imad on one leg strikes. Uh, ask the batsman to hit it over mid wicket. Can he clear the field? No, he couldn't. 
and uh, a comfortable catch running into his left Delanga best out there change of pace but it makes no difference to Usman Khan it's four and it brings up the hundred for the Giants yeah he has decided to from is it out is it out yes it is it's out of the ground out of the playing area Usman Khan he's trying to do bold a beauty just before this delivery and then again a slow delivery why do you need to do that when you have such a good yorker stick to that there's a wicket waiting for you it's gone airborne and it's gone for six they're working they're working and they're working good and giants will hope that they'll keep working ball was full it wasn't there his weight Very was good. bowls him yes he can massive blow Chris Lynn departs and Ali Khan gets his first of the evening oh, with that action have a look at this yeah. Chris Lynn just missed it completely massive wicket Ali Khan knows Oh, he's hit his own stumps. He's hit his own stumps. It was wide and full from Andre Russell. He's gone deep into his crease, this man. And he's just hit the top of off stump, I think, with his bat. Happily take. Yeah, there you go. Just hit the top of off stump. I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah. Does he get enough of that? He may have. He has indeed. Much needed boundary six for the Giants and for Hitmeyer. Yeah, just using that muscle and that power. This, the Giants, was a quiet over up until then. But now with 11, with this six coming off it, just a wee bit of pressure on Khan. You spoke about four boundaries, that's one right at best. Didn't nail that one, but Hitmeyer did. Too straight, too full. Six more. Yeah, this was on the Stam's full toss. That last delivery. A lot of power behind that shot. Yeah, he stays nice and low. It's only just missed there, Andre. Another full toss straight out towards deep mid wicket and into the hands of Mashant Delanga. Brings about a wicket for Andre Russell and it gets rid of the dangerous Shimron Hetmeyer. As he hit that straight to Delanga. Find another boundary for the Giants. No, he won't. Straight down to long off. Just the one. It's all it'll be. And the Giants will finish 161. You would say advantage Knight Riders with that score on the board. Abu Dhabi Knight Riders. That's the equation in front of them. 162 runs required. They will go to third on the table if they can pick up the two points this evening. Back after a short break. Three centres we are playing. Plenty of experience. Joe Clark, the strike rate of 146. Richard Gleason. Michael Pepper also strike rate 146, <clears throat> 1,374 runs. Right he is a big unit. Two of the biggest fellows in the to in the tournament. Leg side. It's the wrong line. It's the wrong line, and it's been punished. That's got enough on it for four. It's a sky 247.net boundary. And that's leg side, you can't bowl there, not swinging down the leg side, you'll be punished of this second. Well, I don't know how you describe that, but it's a Sky 247.net Super 4. Two gone, 22 for no wicket. Bottom wide, looking for it, Joe Clark.
getting into a position to play the shot leg side. It's another boundary. Gosh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds very good. It's four through extra. Well, this delivery wasn't that bad. Short, picked up. Six. And uh, that means that DP Will donates another cricket kit to grassroots cricket. But Pepper sitting back waiting for it. It's too short from Gleason. We might have an early finish this game the way. Yeah! Now, question is has he got something on that? The finger's gone up. And Batter is happy to walk. That's a very good take down the leg side. Is this the something special they were waiting for? It doesn't matter as long as he picks up a few wickets. You know, always felt very unlucky to be dismissed in that manner if you're a batter. Up, over, extra cover. Lovely crushing blow. Well, that might, what a good clean blow this is DP world that's number 201 kits to grass kit a grassroots cricket and 89 meters that six how good a blow is that very slow that was a slow delivery from Brathwaite and it's been absolutely clobbered Six big runs. Really well here. Uncle Pepper held his shape nicely. Didn't lose that front shoulder too much. Kept it towards the ball. Stayed nice and tall and got a free-flowing swing of the bat. Trickery with success. It's a 50 for Michael Pepper and that's his eighth half century in T20 cricket and how well he's playing tonight it's gone straight up should be gone Brathwaite takes the catch and that is the end of Sharafu usually pretty safe Carlos Brathwaite slightly misjudged it to reach for it last minute just reach a little bit more it tried to pop out with those big mitts wrapped around it oh top edge you don't put fielders there not for that shot it's been aggressive tonight Gleason he's gone short ball him he's dragged it on Gleason he's had enough of things tonight that'll do him a power of good It'll do the Giants a power of good. Fully felt like Pepper was stuck on that back foot. He's waiting for the short ball again. Little inside edge and back onto the poles. Deliveries, the crucial. Trying to create some pressure is the golf Giants. Oh. And it's dropped. Oh, dear. A plan was just about all coming together for the golf giants. If that ball is carried, you've got to go upstairs and see if that is carried. Umpire is unmoved. We have an umpire review. Yes. Fingers are under the ball. I'm satisfied and ready to make my decision for the big screen. Third umpire. Leslie Reefer has had a look and he says out straight away said I think his fingers are underneath that that is a fantastic decision good delivery once again flat I don't think he picked the the ball straight away he had to really drive and stretch for top edge runs will be frustrating for Gleason but Abu Dhabi Knight Riders will accept that. It's 131 for four. Straight down. That struck beautifully. That's out of here. 
Brilliant. And this is why we've been saying Andre Russell should have come up the order. He can uh, Andre Russell cramp for room, but it doesn't matter. He just got so much power. 82 metres, that's just a, a mini one for Dre Russ. Well, there was some talk about if you hit. Has he got enough? Has he got enough? He has. It's a toe into the bat. It's one hander and it's still gone for six. Get him up the order. 18 gone, 150. Help spot it for them. Can we help them get it somehow? Low was toe into the bat. I mean, it doesn't really have a right to go for six, but it does. Well, this is a bit like when they're in, in those baseball cages and you hit it, get one hand off. Exactly like that. Trying to do it with one hit. Goes downtown and he does it comfortably. Top of the six hitters in the tournament now, ahead of uh, Nicholas Puran. And Andre Russell's good run with the bat in this tournament continues. 30 from just 13. His strike rate in the tournament is well over 200.